Hey! One of the most common questions I get is how to trace an image in SOLIDWORKS. So in this video, I will try to show you the most easy way. First, let's create a new part. Now let's just make a simple extrude to work on. It can be a sheet metal or aluminum profile or a wooden block, whatever the project calls for. Let's dimension the cube to be 100 and say 60. Just to point out, if you are not familiar with the gesture wheel, you are wasting a lot of time. It is a super effective, you can customize it to your liking and it's guaranteed to save a lot of mileage. Now that we have our block ready, we can start making the trace. We'll create a new sketch on one of the faces, go to Tools, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture. Let's browse to the image we want to trace and place it in the sketch. Now we need to scale the image to fit our needs. In some cases you might have a specific size needed for the project, for that, let's create a line that will help us scale and place the image. Another small tip, after you made a center line and want to make both lines symmetric, instead of selecting the three lines and go to the symmetry relations, you can instead expand the green selection box. For any of you who are not familiar with the selection box, if you hold down the left mouse key and move to the right, a blue box will appear. And this means you will be selecting only the objects that are completely in the box. If you move to the left, you will be selecting anything that the box touches. So open the green selection box and select the three lines. After that, hold down Shift and Alt and press the S key for symmetry. This way is much faster. By the way, SOLIDWORKS did a pretty good job in placing almost all the sketch relations shortcut keys in the left side of the keyboard for easy access. So if your hand is placed regularly on the left side of the keyboard, which I recommend you to do so, you will find it very easy to use the shortcut keys for all the sketch relations. So let's get back to the image. Say we want the image to be 80 millimeters in height. Let's scale and roughly place the image on the center. Now you can add the auto trace from the editing menu, but as I'm about to show you, it is far from doing a good job. Now, if you double click the image, there is a new error that will open the auto trace tools. Let's use the eyedropper and select the black color. and click Auto Trace. Now as you can see it's not looking all that good. Now you can try and get a better result using the adjustment tools, but let me save you the trouble. If you need to trace something very complex there are better software out there to do it. So we will do it manually using the sketch tools we know. Another tip I can give you here is instead of keep coming back to the spline tool, just click enter on the keyboard. This basically makes the last action again.
After everything is traced, you might want to make a block out of it, just that you know nothing moves, and the trace can easily be saved and used in different parts or assemblies.